Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here to show you the journal photo album that I made for Shelly for her graduation. And so we're going to show you the journal that I gave her uh, before she actually graduated. And then I'm going to show you a couple of things that I'm going to send along with the rest of, I went ahead and had pictures developed for her to put on the pages that were for graduation and for the party. So watch the flip through and then come back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use some junk to make a couple of really pretty pages to send that she can add into the journal that I made her. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with the flip through for Shelly's graduation journal, mini album, scrapbook, whatever you want to call it. I like to give the kids, um, for certain things, a book, and I like for it to already have the pictures in it so that um, it's a done deal. So this is my beautiful granddaughter, Shelly, and this was prom. And so I use that picture in there. She can change it out to a graduation picture if she wants to. I did a three ring binder and I made a lace spine. And um, I love how this turned out. So the Patreons saw about 85% of what I did for this journal. Um, several hours of videos or they're gonna see it, excuse me, they're gonna see it in June. And so if you wanna see how I did any of this, um, the information for the Patreon is down below. And again, it is all Patreons in the Dear Julie Julie um, Jewelry Box are gonna get to, to see these videos in June. So if you are a Patreon in June, you'll have access to these. So we added the doilies and this frame. I actually made this frame and so, and I, I show you in detail the, I made the covers. They are uh, a board covered in fabric, two boards covered in fabric that are two different sizes with lace in between. And then we did the hitch post fastener here. I, you'll see throughout the bulb pin with the 2021 um, confetti. It's all throughout. These um, were stickers that were in my mom's stash, so that's kind of cool. And this lace was from one of my mom's shirts, okay? So Wiley decided that it was, um, that she should eat it. So, <laughs> so there's the lace, okay? So um, remember, this is the fabric that I got. It's cotton fabric. And I got it at Walmart, no, I got it at Joann's in their um, fat quarters. So you open it up and we just have a large pocket here. And I had these peach colored notes, which are going to match. And I went ahead and added them right here. I think I'm going to put them on her guest table, her book, her table at her party. And people can write on them and then they can go in here. So here I made a shaker card and um, I guess you'll have to shake the whole, the whole thing to make it shake. But, um, and then I put the picture of her behind it. These are some more of those stickers that were in my mom's stash. And um, I used a paint chip here. This was packaging. Um, and then there's some more of that lace. And then the worth it, I used a package of Heidi Swap's, um, these, Storyline. And I used a whole bunch of these called Deck of Days. Deck of Days, Little Moments, that one's called. Okay, so I have the picture of Shelly here. And, um, and then you're going to see I've added these little flowers throughout as well. Okay, let's make sure that you can see that. Pull it down a little. Okay, and turn. Okay, so here's Shelly and her lifelong best friend, almost her whole life. 
And so that was her birthday. Her 17th birthday was right before school started. So I thought that was a good place to start. We've got a friends for life and I love you more than, and that's blank. But you're also going to see, I used this piece of black lace all through the journal and it turned out really cool. Also, I used this digital kit. I found out it's from Tsunami Rose and it was part of the junk trunk from I'm a Cool Mom, who's now Paper Terrace, Jessica. And I had bought one of those and I've never gotten to use it and it worked perfect for this. So we have the picture of her for her birthday and the wow. And um, I think that that's fun. And then there's a place for her to write something there. And then you're gonna see that the flowers also have the lace around them. So here's two of my favorite pictures of Shelly. And so um, my daughter had made this one because these pictures reminded her of those two famous pictures. So um, she had made this little collage and did it in um, black and white. And then this one with skin tone. I just love it. And so I put it in here and then this one too. And over here behind this one, is the color copy of that one and I went ahead and used the lace to make like a veil and that just fits in the pocket behind this one and the lace can go over that and so the there the picture is here but it doesn't have to be front and center so here I added a flip-flop with a pocket and this was from a book and I have saved that and I think it was perfect for this. <laughs> Lots of things were perfect for this. Now this one I accidentally um, put the fold in on the wrong side, but it worked out fine. You can still um, turn it and everything there. So this was her first day um, at school as a senior. So there, um, and then I thought it was fun to use the ABC and the desk. These were from my, my mom's stash couple little note cards that she can write on and if she I know there's another picture of her and her brothers um, on the first day of at home learning and so and I didn't get a copy of that so that could go in here so just a couple of um, this is her now and then that um, Amber had to make something for um, because she was a senior and so it's or then and now. So pictures of her then and now and now and then. And so there you go. And then, then I just thought this was beautiful and should go in there. This was the day she got her braces off. And so there's a place for her to take to, if she's got other pictures. And I did fold up one of the ephemera cards and put that in there. And here's some more of the Heidi swap down here. And this was from the Tsunami Rose. So this has a flip and a flip-flop inside for more journaling space. So we just have some run random cards over here. And we have Halloween here. And it has a pocket here that she could put more information if she wants to. And here is at the creek. There's her brothers on both sides. And here she is. And... Um, this is just like this because somewhere there is a picture of her fishing. And if we don't find that, then this one is going to go in here. And it'll go up here and it says today and it points there. I thought that was really cool. This is also from a Heidi Swap thing that I had. And I made a pocket out of this. We're going to turn this over and it's banned. So you just saw me um, in the last video that I did on for the Patreon. Um, add the drum and she actually did play the drum and that was the piece that came in that that thing I had these the music notes from the digital kit so I added them there here's her mom and dad at senior night at school and um, so I put this with the band stuff there's another that's a picture of her and her boyfriend and her and her one of her friends and there's some more of the music notes there and we've got a sticker and a little band person there. And I used the band letters from the scrapbook paper I had. 
So I used a black um, variety scrapbook paper and it was double-sided. So that made life so much easier. So, tsunami Rose back here and some of the music wrapping paper. This was really funny. She sent this to her mom the day that she got her cap and gown. It says, I got my done with high school cape. <laughs> I, so I put that in there. And she, um, here's her first car. I can't even. And so some keys up here. It says first car. Um, this was a crafting day. She was tie-dyeing masks and a t-shirt. Here we have softball. This is where we have the most picture. Every time I've done her stuff, she always has the most picture on her softball because she has her and her team. So I added pages over here so that I could add those in. There is a pocket here. I did come back in with the highlighter. I highlighted on the baseball and on some of the circles on some of these pages. These are the seniors that um, this was... Uh, at senior night for baseball or softball. And here she is playing. And then I had these in my stash, so I put them in here. And I had, and then some more pictures of her playing. It says play ball, and I used the highlighter again. And then here is her then and now softball pictures. And this is how her mom had to watch a couple of her games, and there she is on first. So, um, a couple of the away games, Amber couldn't go. They were, uh, they were, well, they, she just couldn't. So, and there she is playing, and I took and used the picture and made a pocket. You'll see I did a lot of that here. And um, so here we have, I made a pocket out of these three items, and it has um, one of the pictures in it. And it just fits right in there, and it stops right there, so... Um, but she could write on that if she wanted to. And there's also a journaling card. Here's another picture. And I made the, it's, it's a flip. And this picture that she doesn't want seen. So, um, and there she is really really cool this is a great picture <laughs> um and then here i don't want to leave that in there we have christmas and tommy their elf toilet paper the tree so i thought that was fitting so i put it in there and here's a picture of her and her brothers and so this area is her and her brothers um, better together they are amazing brothers and sisters they do fight but they are just amazing and this is when they um adopted their dog it says you can't buy love, but you can adopt it. And that was one of the Heidi Swap things, and I thought it was perfect. And there is a pocket here. Okay, and there is her and one of her brothers. And this is her and her other brother. And there, I love this picture of the three of them. And her and her mom. And there's room here for more pictures of the parental units. Her and one of the chickens. Her snake Tokyo, her and Tyke sleeping somewhere in there. It, I can see Tyke, Amber, or Shelly's in there somewhere. And then um, it was really cool because we got to use all tuckered out. Furball, fun in the sun. This is her and Tyke. And Tyke has to have, be under the umbrella because he's white like, um, like Olive. So there you go. Animals are better than humans. And there's, this is Holly. If you remember Holly, she was one of the puppies. And this is a really cool picture that Amber had made of Tyke and Holly. And this is Prom. So I took the Tsunami Rose and put it on the back. I used the black lace. Some The sticker from Prom Night. Here we have another one of the little Dilly Bobbers. It says 2021. Up here, this is a pocket, so she can put um, information in there if she wants. Uh, this is last day of school. This is a band performance night, and she's pointing because she she um, tied her brother's tie. 
and I used the music from Tsunami Rose. So now here there's several pages for she had like um, other things, uh, her softball awards dinner and things like that. So those can go in there. And then I did add some of these here. This is a, um, this is actually one of the images in the Victorian Edwardian, Victorian Edwardian digital kit in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. And so I added that in there. Then I just have several pages of graduation, um, so that we can put the, from her actual graduation, getting ready, all those things. And so there, and then here we have a couple more and a couple things in this border tuck uh, place that we can put a, a really, the best picture of her. And then this is for the party. And there's a page for the parents, a page for her brothers, um, grandparents, class of 2021, enjoy the little things. And then the best is yet to come. And then we have a pocket in the very back. So that is what I made for Shelly for her graduation. And I think it turned out pretty amazing. Just got to fold that over then this can just come and hook on and it is finished um, let me know what do you think what was your favorite thing did you enjoy being if you were a patreon did you enjoy seeing how we did all these things um and is there something in here that you would like to see how i did find something to celebrate every day we're celebrating shelly and i'll see you tomorrow Bye. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. And so we are going to recreate the um, inside cover page. But we're going to make another one of the, um, the shaker cards. So I have this graduate paper. It's from a paper pad that I had from quite a while ago. I have the packaging from a magnetic notepad. Go ahead and cut the top piece off. And I am going to go ahead and fit this picture inside here. Oh, we can cut this off because I'm definitely going to be shorter than that. Okay. And I'm going to put it in face down. Okay. So when I'm finished filling this, I can go ahead and flip this up and close it. Okay. So you want to make sure that you have a um, plastic that has no um, holes in it. Okay. So this one didn't have any holes, so this is going to be perfect. And I'm going to be putting this on here. I do want the words graduate down here to show. And we are going to cut this down. Okay. So if you enjoyed that flip through and you would like to see how it was made, um, the cover, everything about it, it is, the videos are being shown exclusively on my Patreon through, I'm, I'm adding them all the way through June. It's several hours of, of content. Several hours. Okay, so I'm going to use my little uh, three-hole punch. This is what I use to make her her journal. And I'm going to just go ahead and cut that, or put the holes in that. I 
think the three ring binder is kind of fun because you can continue to add to it. Now I'm going to save this because granddaughter Izzy, so Shelly's my oldest granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter Izzy graduated from preschool on Friday. And so we, they are here right now. We have, um, we did a photo shoot of her in her cap and gown. And so we're going to be adding that into a scrapbook that I, a project like life scrapbook that I had her mom, um, I showed her how to make and she's been making it. So, which is awesome. Okay, so I have this box full of the little things that we had. And in there, there were these um, congrats and then the little hats. So I want those. And then I want the 2021s from here. And... I think I want a couple of these stars. And I don't know, I'm also almost thinking the confetti stars too to add in there. Okay. Okay, I do also have these 2021s and the bigger hats. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we've got this ready and, um, it's a double-sided paper again, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple of these. And the reason I want these in there is they will lift this up. Okay. They're um, dimensional and they will lift this up so that the the sequins and the beads can can move around okay and if you saw the flip through then you saw that I used the peach beads throughout so we're going to do that now I had I was thinking about adding this in but I just I'm just thinking that's too busy but this is another thing if you have some of the wired um, stuff you can add that in you can make like a little frame and put it in and um, that will also lift your lift it up so that your beads will move around okay so just to give you a couple of options I think you should always do things in odd numbers. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I think I want to. I think I want to put that on here somewhere. It's like you just never know what you're gonna find in my my stuff, huh? Okay. There's a little one. Okay, so that gives me three. Now you can go ahead and actually put these on the picture. We're going to do that this time because it will help come out. There we go. Um, to keep things from just floating where it, wherever they want to and covering up like her face. I'm just going to use some double-sided tape on it and so we'll put one here make sure that the tape is here Okay. 
And these two will open up that space in between there so that the beads can kind of float around. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll pick out some of our sequins. And we'll do a couple of blue. I mostly did black. Okay, there's a couple of the little hat thingies. just want the gold ones in there. I need to make a little something for for Izzy's and hers is red. So and then I will save all my numbers because we I will be able to use those for uh, Christmas and for my October daily and my December daily. Ooh, I like those gold squares. Another little hat. I think this is where we'll get our blue. It's from these stars. I think I just... Oh, I had a just had it. It's best to empty these directly into your Ziploc bag or I'm almost guarantee they will end up all over. There's a there's a gold star. get a couple gold stars and a blue one. If those are on there. I can put that up in. Okay. And then I'm going to add the beads. And remember, I'm using these peach beads. I used them in the other one. So and I'm going to put these up so they're actually on it. I'm going to use them all. Okay, and there's this little guy. Them up. Okay. Then I'm going to turn this over. <laughs> and actually, I'll go ahead and fold it. I'm going to go ahead and Close that back there. And then I'm going to put tape at the bottom of where the picture is and then at the top of this. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, why fast? Well, I don't want the... Oh, duh. We didn't put the glue on yet. I don't want the beads to be on the back back here. They will end up there eventually. But i uh, got to remember to stop the APG. And then pull. 
Okay, stop and then pull it up. Okay, and you can use any double-sided tape to do this, I think. Okay, and then we'll go ahead. And I wanted the word graduate down here to show. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. Okay, let me put this so it's down. Okay, so there I have a Schaefer card. Make this very special. And because you turn the page, you'll hear it and see it. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So... What happened to my three stars? Did I cut them? Okay, well, is there another set of three stars? I hope so. Yeah, there's one. Okay. I'm going to cut the top part off here because you don't need that. And I'm going to just put this so that it's right up there. And I've, I used all the stickers on her, on her book. So I don't have, I don't have any of the, I think we'll put this on here. I think it, well, put it up here. It'll, okay, so that gives that some some interaction. Okay. Okay, so there is using the packaging, packaging clear, and making an embellishment, basically, or a page. Actually, it's a page idea. No, it's not, because you have to use your, yeah, so it's an embellishment. There we go. There's our embellishment. And um, now, for in the um, in the actual journal, I made a tag because you could actually take her picture out on that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and on to this one. So I have this. Okay, so this would be packaging paper. I don't know where the yellow or the green cutter went. I'll go ahead and come here and cut this. Okay, we're going to go to where that. Is we actually could have two pages here. I may make another one for her. Okay, so this is the back of um, doilies from Dollar Tree. So I want this to be the edge. So I'm gonna actually use this one. Okay, I'm gonna actually use this one because um, I, I get that edge. Okay, I'll go ahead and put her on there and then come over and put the holes in on this side. And one of the things that we have been using in her journal is the black lace.
have another picture that I'll put on the back. We'll use this one on the front. Go ahead and make an embellishment. Let's go ahead and put her picture down. So this month on the Dear Julie Julie channel, we are making things using things that most people would throw away. Making our journals using things that most people would throw away. And we need to make a page element, a tag element, and an embellishment out of each of the... things that we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that that looks nicer. I'm going to fold this over. Okay. So that'll give us a finished edge on that side. I think that's too big. I don't want it to be too big for her journal. And her journal is bigger than uh, normal. Okay. Do I want that up higher? I want it to have, it needs to have two holes so that it will not um, move, move around. Okay, so there's that. Then I have from the sticker sheet, I have this that says graduation. and cut and punch a hole oh I should have turned that the other way too late this piece of lace up here okay and a bulb pen I'm just grabbing things from all around my desk <laughs> and a bulb pen and it's gonna say 2021 and we can come up here put the bulb pen through the lace through and there we have okay and I think we'll go ahead and since this is out we'll cut that
add that up there. So we kind of given a little collage up here in the corner. I'm just going to add the double sided tape onto my star and put that right up there. Okay, and I think I want this to be gold because I can't see it. We'll leave the blue one on there. We'll get a, grab a gold one also. This one you have to do it different. Okay, so you got both of them on there. Gives you a little sparkly blue. Okay, so there's that. Then I think we'll go ahead and turn this over and okay, so we're using for for Izzy's um yeah, so let's see the Project Life. So so I can cut it there. I can cut it there. I'm going to cut it here so I get that word. Graduate. And let me go ahead and cut Izzy's so it's already ready. Because, like I said, we're using Project Life for her, so. Um, okay, if I do this, I can go ahead and mark where the should have decorated the back first. <laughs> but I didn't. best I can. And yes, I'm going to I'm going to just put it through. Because otherwise I'll we'll be here for way too long. Okay, then I'm going to use my So are you making graduation journals or mini albums? Mine was kind of a combination of the, of both. I like I said in the video, I like to make them one that's got its pictures and everything and See if we can darken our hair. that and for this one let's go ahead and
go ahead and trim it down. Over here. Okay, so just adding a little border here. This could be with something that you fussy cut. You could go ahead and um, roll up little diplomas, add that. You can make pencils out of toothpicks like you've seen me do in the embellishment videos, the back to school embellishment videos. And with that, we have two beautiful finished pages to you to add to her um, collection. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll put these in the mail. And because I gave her a ring binder, she'll be able to add those into her ring binder. This I could also make a tag out of it. Um, and I was thinking about that. Let me show you. Um, one more thing here. Oh, one more thing. We do have another part of this. So, like I said, I'm sending this off to her in the mail. Where did the lace go? I totally lost a good piece of lace. Okay, I'm gonna do this and then I'll show you that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add this I'll come over here and cut this down this way. Okay. Cut this piece off. And we'll make a big pocket like we did in the front of the journal. Okay. And what we did was add the fabric tack. Okay. I think it's going to be kind of cool that the, the girl is going to be behind the lace. <laughs> And I did get some fabric tech yesterday at Walmart. Because that's where I was. And I needed it. Okay, so we'll go right up to the edge. And then I'm going to pull this over. Okay, so I want to make sure that that stays. And I'm going to pull this over tight. So that it will hold whatever gets put in here. And then I'll come back and remake that hole right there. Make sure that... Okay. All the way to the edge, if I can. Okay. And this was a tablecloth. is just use the scissors and cut that. She'll be able to to put that through the through the holes. Okay, so we have our little embellishment cluster up here that we've made. We have um, and then we have a couple pieces of lace left that I'll do something 
with as well. Okay, so I have one more thing I want to show you because I am sending her um, the rest of... I, I had about 50 pictures, maybe more, 75 <laughs> pictures developed to send to her so that um, if they don't get theirs developed, then at least she has something to put in it. I am going to be making an envelope using my envelope punch board. So I know that I want... Um, the pictures are four by six, so I'm looking at um, five by seven, or let's do five and a half by seven and a half. That's what we'll do. So I need a ten and a half by ten and a half square, and then we're going to start on four and a half. So ten and a half by ten and a half. So let's measure this over to ten and a half. this over to ten and a half. So sometimes I do, I make my envelope by the size of paper I have. Sometimes I make it by the size of card that I need. And okay, so we come back here and we, let's see, five and a half by seven, there it is. Um, so we start at four and a half. Okay. And I have double-sided paper. So we're going to do this. Oh, let's go ahead. It, this, this is a We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Four and a half. Okay, so I'm, I've got it at four and a half. I'm going to go ahead, punch it, and score it. And this doesn't quite go all the way to the edge so I'm gonna go ahead and help it a little because I need to know where that line is okay so we're gonna come back over and I'm gonna this is the score line that we just had and now that's my measurement score punch then I'm gonna take this over here and I give it a good score same thing I don't use this over here anymore. I just use this right here. Okay, so line that up. Punch. Score. Okay. Oh, that's a little on. Because you've got a good fold here, just go ahead and fold it all the way down. Because you want to make sure that that's where it's supposed to be. Okay. Then find your fold. Go up underneath that. Line it up. Punch. And score. Okay. And then you can just go ahead and fold along your score lines. You can use your bone folder. It's going to give you a nice clean edge there. Now you could go ahead and score and and raise this up and make it into a box. I'm not going to make it a box. I'm just going to make it a um, an envelope. So the next thing is I am going to close my envelope. Okay. But first I want you to want to also know that there is a corner rounder on your envelope punch board on the other side here. So you can just go ahead and punch those two edges. And put the <coughs> bone folder back in so we don't lose it. I'm gonna go ahead and close my envelope up. I'm gonna 
I'll use my fabric tack because it will dry the fastest. Both sides. Okay. okay, now I am going to go ahead and punch this with the three hole punch. So this becomes a place that she can put other things in and put it into the journal, okay? But I'm gonna use it to send it to her. And, um, okay, so I'll be able to put the other, the other pictures in here after it dries and send it to her, okay? Um, I do want to do some kind of little closure here that will come up on, oh, I'm looking for, <laughs> I'm looking for something. to be something that I can okay so I have this that says congrats I've already put away a lot of this stuff. Okay, I have, I have this. There's hearts and stars in here. Star. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold this over, cut it, and then fold it like that. Okay. I'm going to take a star and put it on top there. Then, okay, cool. Okay, so I want the sure that none of the glue held that down. Okay, I'm going to put my star down. Let me look here. I'm on my... Then hopefully this will go all the way up to the hole. Okay. So there. I have made... And that will hold it. Okay. And we've got the holes so that it can go into the journal, the rest of the pictures. Okay. And again, like I said, you could go ahead and add have made this into a box. <laughs> Might have been a good idea. Okay. But I think that this is a nice way to send um, somebody a package of pictures. 
is to go ahead and make it make an envelope. I like the closure on here and um, I should have probably put a 2021 on there, huh? And still do it. First, you don't succeed. <laughs> Try it again. Might be easy. Might be easier to do this again, right? have it might as well use it okay so we have our envelope that I can send the pictures to her I have the shaker card shaker page that we made it has a place that we can add more to it and we have the page made out of the um the packaging from doilies and so there you go i thought i'd quickly show you what i made for izzy this is i'm um, going in a project life so what i've done is i have made a little flap and i made a shaker card and these are the little celebration things and they are what's holding this up so that the beads and things can move around a little bit. I did also put in one of the little stars. And the 2021 down here is actually um, taped in with double-sided tape. Okay, so there's that. Then from the top of a children's writing pad, I had a pencil and some of the letters and numbers. So I made some of the cards that can go in on the pages. And this was the little scrap that was left over. And I made a little shaker there. So all these will be able to at, be added to the Project Life um, page that we have going on. And like I said, this is going to sit in the middle so they're over here on the Project Life, there's two four by six spots, and then there's three three by four spots going this way, little ones like this, and they'll be underneath here. Okay, so, and then these two, this will get cut down the middle here so that th these two s can slide into where the four by sixes are. Okay, so there's a four by six and a four by six, and these will slide in between and the, it will be a flap, okay? And then you'll be able to see these cards and pictures underneath. Okay, this is gonna go on a picture. This will probably either go in here, it might go on here, like as a belly band or something it on or on a picture. But this is actually a flap that I'm going to add on to the Project Life page. This one was also made with the pocket from a magnetic, um, the paper pads, the notepads from Dollar Tree. These, it's one of those. And after I made it, I went ahead and I, um, the picture is actually behind the pocket on this one. It's not in the pocket, it's behind the pocket. Okay, so that's that's little Izzy, and this is little Shelly, my oldest and my youngest granddaughter, both graduating from their schools this year. That is what I'm gonna be sending to Shelly, and um, along with some double-sided tape so that she can put her pictures down 
and I hope you enjoyed this video. So let me know what was your favorite. Um, what was your favorite page or thing that you saw in the, the journal? As well as did you enjoy and did you get anything out of this right here? Um, I want to thank you so much for being here and thank you for your patience this week. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to go watch one of these videos. If you're interested in how I made that journal start to done, um, you can check out my Patreon and the information for the Patreon is down below. It's Dear Julie Julie. And I would love to have you over there. All Patreons, all tiers are have access to the videos um, from the graduation journal as I put them up this month. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.